There's new uncertainty on the international scene tonight about North Korea. In the wake of the sudden death of dictator Kim Jong-il, who ruled with an iron fist, what should worry the U.S. and the rest of the world? My team lead investigative reporter Jane Miller spoke today with Maryland Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger. He is the ranking member on the House Intelligence Committee. Jane's live in the newsroom with that interview. Jane. Donna, power in North Korea now falls to Kim Jong-il's son, a young man about whom very little is known. Kim Jong-il died of a heart attack Saturday. His death was announced our time last night. Already one of the world's most isolated and dangerous countries, Kim's death has the rest of the world bracing for what might come next. North Korea has one of the largest militaries in the world. They have nuclear weapons. They're dealing uh, with some of the, our enemies, such as Iran and, and countries like that. So you don't need a lot of disruption. Maryland Congressman Dutch Ruppersberger, a Democrat, is the ranking member of the House Intelligence Committee. Information is scant, he says, on Kim's son, Kim Jong-un, who steps into his father's shoes. We have a young person uh, who, is, who is going to take control because uh, his, of his father. His father made him a four-star general. He's young. They sent him to college in Switzerland, to a German college. Uh, he was only there for a short period of time. He was very low-key. He didn't really engage with a lot of the students who were there. And then all of a sudden, one day he was gone. It took him back to North Korea. Ruppersberger suspects the younger Kim will remain in the military's grip. Like others in the U.S., he hopes the transition from father to son provides an opportunity to convince North Korea to be more open. The key, Ruppersberger believes, is China. China uh, deal, looks, looks after North Korea. Uh, they send them supplies. And China is doing very well, especially in their economy. And the last thing they want now is an unstable North Korea. The U.S. State Department indicated today the passing of power in North Korea may delay developments on the resumption of nuclear disarmament talks. The elder Kim's health had been an issue for some time, but his death this weekend was unexpected. Reporting live tonight from the newsroom, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL TV 11 News. Interesting, Jane. Thank you. Of course, Kim Jong-il graduated from Kim Il-sung University. That was named after his father. It was in 1980 that he was officially named his, as his father's successor, and he took over 14 years later. You can see Kim Jong-il's life in pictures on WBALTV.com. Just click on National News.